Peace, 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 family. My name is Michael Jordan, AKA the Serious Alchemist. Back with another video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Back with another video, another Saturday's book review. Today's book review, family, we got a good one. Um, we talking about religion today and how it's spellbound, especially so-called black folks in America. You know what I'm saying? Religion has did a number on us. Half of us think that religion is spiritual and it has nothing to do with spirituality. Spirituality is something totally different. And today's book, you know, delves into that. Today's book is uh, The Hidden Wisdom in the Holy Bible by Volume 1 by Joffrey Hodson. Yo, family, if you want to know about the book that's been held us spellbound for so many years over here in the West, it's the Bible. A lot of us don't know how to read it. A lot of us reading it literally as if these things really happen. None of these things really happen. We can't read that text as a historical text. We have to read it as an allegory or symbolically. And if you don't know what an allegory or how to read it allegorically or symbolically, then get this book. And you will find trying to get this book is not going to be very easy to get this book, family. But it's a must-have if you get it. And it's a value. It's There's three values. And when you get this book, it'll open your mind on how to read this book. Because this book has, you know what I'm saying, kept our family, kept us spellbound for a minute. And it still got a lot of us spellbound till this day. But that's why this book is so important. That's why I decided to do this book review this Saturn's day. You know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody will get the book and they can free their mind, you know what I'm saying, from the lockdown that has been in under these religions and, then, and these religious spells that's being, you know, used on our people. So as I do, you know what I'm saying, family, as I always do, I read something from the back of the book, right, about the author, you know what I'm saying? Because I heard somebody say, you know, books, you know, can only do so much. But that's bullshit. Books can do a lot. I mean, they can't do everything because there's a certain level where you come to find out that you're the book. But it takes books to get to that level. Because I'm going to be the first to tell you, reading a lot of books can also swell the ego. Because you start to think you have a lot of knowledge, you, you know, you think you know more, more than others and blase, blase, blase. But that's not true. You know what I'm saying? Because the books is just the beginning stages of leading you to enlightenment. I'm not saying you ain't going to find enlightenment in a book, but they can lead you. They can lead you to the way if you do the work. Like Bobby always used to say, do the work. You feel me? So, um, this book right here is really important, family. This book right here is really important. And, I, and I'm not just saying that, family. I'm going to put that book right there so the family can see it real clear. Joffrey Hudson, if you get this book, you will understand how to read the Bible for real, for real. Not no play play. You know what I'm saying? Not like they're trying to teach you in these churches. You know what I'm saying? And, and if you knew the uh, etymology of the word church, you wouldn't even say that word. You knew what it really meant. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and read from the back of this. It says, Joffrey Hodson, internationally famous, sensitive author of the kingdom of the gods, considers the inner meanings that are hidden in the stories of the book of Genesis. His insights bring new vitality to the Old Testament. He makes it manifestly more meaningful, meaningful for every Christian who has found difficulty in accepting a wholly literal meaning to biblical stories. According to the author, there is a sacred language of allegory and symbol, like I spoke about earlier, family, which provides several keys to unlock the wisdom which is concealed in the myths, parables, and allegories of the Bible. Because family, this book is made up of a lot of myths, 
symbols and allegories. And if you don't understand them, you won't understand that book. But if you get this work right here, you will definitely understand it. And you will read it like you've never read it before. You will read it in a different light. You see what I'm saying? Because when I first got this book, oh man, it was a jewel. I was like, whoa. It was like somebody came and turned on a thousand watt light bulb in my mind. Because I went over childhood memories when I used to go to church with my mom. And, and I know my mom didn't, I don't know what she was doing. Bless her heart. You know what I'm saying? Love her to life. Um, but she didn't know where, you know, but I'm glad she was taking me because that's where I learned the stories. But then now that I got this book, I understood the meaning of the stories. There were higher meanings to those stories, right? So let me continue on. The more incredible some of the stories may seem, the more important it is to seek for a credible inner meaning. Because a lot of these stories in the Bible is representing something that's going on on the inside of you, on the inside of the human body. <clears throat> and some of y'all out there probably understand that already who've been studying and researching for a while. And some of y'all don't. And for those who don't, I suggest you get this book. You know what I'm saying? Because people are, 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 are trying to say that books ain't important. They are because some books hold whole magical systems. You know what I'm saying? And... We don't have, we got fragments of everything. We don't have no whole systems of nothing. You know what I'm saying? Bobby always used to say, you got to study it all if you want to understand it because we got fragments of everything. You know what I'm saying? We want to stay in Egyptian or we want to study in the magic or we want to deal with the spells or we always want to put a spell on somebody or curse somebody in hell with that. That ain't the hot, no, that ain't what it's about. It's about evolving. This stuff is about evolving, about transformation. You know what I'm saying? Evolving to a higher being, to a higher level, a higher state of being. It's not about putting hexes and love spells. That's low vibrational shit. If that's what you're out there doing, and the problem is most of us, when we start doing it, we start putting hexes and spells on each other. What kind of, no, no. That This ain't for us to be going around putting hexes and spells on each other. So if you're doing that, you're doing low vibrational stuff, I'm just here to tell you. This stuff is about evolving, family, period. You know what I'm saying? So this book is good. So let me um let me uh, uh read something for you right here in this book to try to maybe enlighten someone watching this video. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they could get a little light going. Especially I'm hoping somebody go and get the book. You know what I'm saying? Because the book can be got. And like I said, it's three chapters. That the book's gonna explain everything. Ain't nothing I can say that could do justice of getting the book for yourself. And instead of being on Facebook, putting your face in a book, you know what I'm saying? And then you could get this, you know, can understand the meanings because books are important. Like I said, all knowledge ain't in books. There's a level there. there there's different levels to this. There's just different levels to this family. So I want that understood. So this 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 part right here talks about Jonah. We've all heard about Jonah getting swallowed by the whale. It says, Jonah enters the belly of a great fish and remains unharmed for three days and three nights. At initiation, the candidate is withdrawn from his body, right? The ship enters the underworld, the sea, and is then elevated into full spiritual awareness, the fish, or attain Christ consciousness, right? After the passage of sufficient time, generally three days and three nights, he returns to his body is delivered to dry land. Tribute money is found inside a particular fish. All the necessities, the tribute money for spiritual, intellectual, and even physical living are to be found in the divine aspects of human nature, the fish. Man should learn to draw upon the Christ power within him. Like Christ said, the kingdom of heaven is within. And so many, you know, Christians, they looking for the kingdom of heaven outside themselves, all out here. They thinking that, you know, the kingdom is out here. It's not. It's everything is in here. This is where the true kingdom is. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this book is real serious, family. Um, and, and again, Lazarus, who was raised from the dead by Jesus, they wasn't talking about no physical death. So any of y'all out there thinking that 
Jesus raised somebody from a physical death, you're missing the missing the point. You're getting lost in the sauce. It's a it's 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 a it's a spiritual death. Some a lot of us are out here dead spiritually. You know what I'm saying? We don't even know what spirituality is. We ain't we scared to look into it because we've been taught by the powers that were that it was evil when it's not. You know what I'm saying? You might even look at my shirt and think this is evil. Ain't nothing evil about it. This is science. This is some skulls. This is some science. But anyway, that's a whole nother uh, video. But um, back to Lazarus. Lazarus is raised after being dead for four days. Death symbol symbolizes total spiritual unawareness. Miraculous restoration to life implies its recovery by virtue of the action of the interior divine power and presence of the Christ. The period of death refers to the time during which the body of the candidate is unconscious. Figurative death is a figurative death, not a real, they're not talking about real death, right? While initiation is being conferred. In the ancient mysteries, being dead metaphorically described the condition of the uninitiated, basically the ignorant. The uninitiated was the ignorant, those ignorant of the higher mysteries. You feel me? So <clears throat> get this book, family. This book is excellent. This book is excellent. This dude, Jeffrey Hodson, this dude, man, this dude was a high level, this dude was a high level teacher. That's all I can say. Get this book if you want to understand it for those, for, for those Christians out there. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with being in religion, but understand what it's really meant for. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't hating on religion. I just, you know what I'm saying? You just shouldn't get twisted by it. You feel me? And uh, uh, this book will help you not be twisted by religion. You know what I'm saying? The hidden wisdom in the Holy Bible. Because there's some jewels in there, family. And then I got another little piece I'm going to read in here. Um, Where's that piece at? <clears throat> okay, this piece right here. And this is about the trees, about what trees represent in the Bible. Because as y'all know, in the middle of the garden in the Eden, there was a tree. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> let me go into it a little bit. Trees connote the omnipresent, divine, creative life within all nature and in, and in man. The very tree of life itself, microcosmically, Trees refer to the same creative life individualized as the procreative force. To climb a tree to see the Christ as did Zacchaeus and to be hung on a tree indicate the full sublimation of that force and the consciousness of the divine which this makes possible. And if you think about that, to climb a tree to see the Christ as did Zacchaeus and to be hung on a tree, who in the hell been hung on trees in this country? Besides people that look like us. You know what I'm saying? Because they was trying to hide something by doing that to us. They was trying to hide something. They was trying to hide the greatness. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And plus they had stole our land too. They was trying to hide that fact. You know, telling us that we came from somewhere else. This was we was already here. We had an empire already here. That's a whole nother story. But um it says uh it says to climb a tree to see the Christ as did Zacchaeus and to be hung on a tree indicate the full sublimation of that force and the consciousness of the divine, which this makes possible. The fruits of trees symbolize the products of the action of the life force in nature and in man, right? The apple especially would seem to typify self-consciousness, individualized experience of the creative process, as in the case of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil partaken by Adam and Eve, the eating of which brought about the so-called and miscalled fall of man and the man with the womb or the womb man. You know what I'm saying? And if you look up the eat the uh, excuse me, the etymology of woman, it was umen, which is where you get the word human. So the woman was the first human. The bite a lot, they got it backwards in here, but that's a whole nother story too. But um, 
Adam and Eve, the eating of which brought about the so-called and miscalled fall, when the apples are golden, the attainment of budded consciousness is definitely symbolized. You know what I'm saying? For such attainment is the fruit and man of the activity of the intuition. So a lot of the Bible family is laid, laced with esoteric, symbolic, allegorical information. You feel me? Um, I dare those to get this book and find out the truth for themselves. Don't believe what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Check it out for yourself. And all this stuff can be verified, man. There's so many jewels in this book right here alone. You know what I'm saying? Um, I really couldn't wait to get on here and do this book review because, you know, a lot of Christians could benefit from this. And I mean really benefit, truly. Just get it and read it. You know what I'm saying? And you don't really need the preacher. Get this. You just know how to read. Get this book. Don't fear it. Get it. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be hard to find, but you can get it. It's out there. I'm going to read it again. The Hidden Wisdom in the Holy Bible, Volume 1, Greffy Hodson. There's a Volume 2 and 3, which I do have. You know what I'm saying? There's no need to pull them out, but it's the same, you know, Volume 2 and 3. It'll take you all the way through the Bible. Um, right here, right here, this page right here, the estimation of Jesus, which he not that I must be about my father's business, corrects this error and directs the mind upward to the innermost self, the father into the impersonal principles and purpose by which the higher self is animated. So you have a higher self. You know what I'm saying? The physical body has a higher self, which is the true you. You know what I'm saying? And this is speaks about how you animate it. That's what these stories speak about. Your higher self. And you know what I'm saying? And a mystical experience is also described and guidance in its attainment is given. The mind brain, it is shown, discovers that illumination demands a universalization of consciousness and outlook. In other words, the temple state of consciousness must be inner. Spiritual rather than worldly values must be accepted. You know, a lot of us got a lot of worldly values and, you know, that's okay. You know, if that's what you're about, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of us got a lot of spiritual values and with spiritual values come knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And, you know, a lot of people don't want that. That's why I do what I do. And those who are supposed to see this video see it and those who won't, won't. And that's just what it is. But I'm still going to do what I do because I know those out there need it. So, family, get this book. The hidden wisdom in the Holy Bible, because that I, I'm 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 not gonna say throw that book away, because that's a valuable book, very valuable book. A lot of people throw it away because they said, but don't you can't throw that baby, you can't throw that book away with the uh, bathwater. You see, what I'm saying it's got some jewels in that book, but you got to know how to read it symbolically, allegorically. You feel me? Get this book, family. My name is Michael Jordan, aka the Serious Alchemist. If you would like a reading from me, I'll leave my email in the, hit, in the description box. Hit me up. If you like the content, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. And if you want to be notified every time I drop a new video, hit that little bell and you'll be notified every time I drop another video. So I'm out. Peace. <clears throat>